On January 1st, 1863, Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, paving the path towards ending slavery as we know it in the United States. Many newly freed people were without a last name, and some chose the last name Lincoln, honoring the man who championed their freedom. This was about the necessity of self-action to reclaim one's own dignity and humanity. My name is Charlene Lincoln, and I'm a great-granddaughter of Amos Lincoln. My father, Chuck Lincoln, was a boxer, coach, trainer. And the story is, if anybody needed anything, go see Mr. Lincoln, and he took care of them. Oh, wow, so did you hear anything growing up around your family's involvement with maybe enslavement, Civil War? Not really. We didn't talk about the past. Right. So. I have some stuff to share with you today. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is an incredible collection. It's called Interviews with the Formerly Enslaved, the Works Progress Administration. They went across the country and interviewed people who had survived slavery. One of those interviews was by your great-grandfather, Amos Lincoln. Really? Yes. This typewritten transcript is available on Ancestry. And these are literally his words. He says, my grandpa came from, from Africa. Africa. Wow. Elijah Gidry, he my master, he had lots of slaves. Here's the thing, while there are definitely Gidrys in Vermilion Parish in Louisiana, that's mm -hmm. a very common name, there yes. were no Lincolns. Really? So where did my Lincoln come from? Looks like he chose the name. Apparently, Amos Lincoln was an intelligent man. He knew that he had to separate from that last name. I'm sure he decided, Abraham Lincoln, I'm gonna take that name. That's a good name. He had the gift to figure out how he was gonna maneuver through this life. There was a new birth when people emerged from the bondage of slavery. They could decide whatever course they wanted to chart and how they wanted to live their lives. And the fact that somebody recorded it is amazing. And the collection that this is a part of, we're only getting 2,300 of more than 4 million yes. stories. Our story was one of millions. The Lincoln name is incredibly more powerful than when I walked in here. And this really puts a stamp on it. With Ancestry, you can connect the dots for your family history. Just be curious, be inquisitive, and want to go on the journey. Brought to you by Ancestry. Find your family's history.